The month of September brings artist Ron Clavier to the Niagara Pump House Art Centre with a collection inspired by the 75th anniversary of a literary classic. I was always uh, a fan of John Steinbeck. Uh, I loved reading him as a, as a kid, and by kid I mean, I guess, teenager. Uh, and it was only when my daughter, one of my daughters, moved to the west part of the United States that my wife and I started spending a lot of time there, and I saw places that reminded me of what Steinbeck had written, uh, though I'd never actually seen them, uh, and there they were. So I thought, well, I'm going to reread John Steinbeck uh, and see what I liked about him so much. It was because he wrote as a teenager speaks. He, he wrote for that part of us that questions authority, uh, that asks very simple questions and demands very straight answers. And the title of this show. Uh, awe and humility and joy were a phrase that he used when he described walking through a grove of redwood trees as a child. Now how long have you been working on this show? The concept uh, began uh, about 12 years ago. For a good six of those years uh, I was traveling in and around the areas where Steinbeck described his, his locales uh, and his people. Each painting is based on a specific passage, and uh, the three words, awe and humility and joy, well, awe is wonder, and wonder is curiosity, and that's what makes the brain work. Uh, we need to know. Uh, we need to know everything. The more we know, the safer we are. So we're always curious, and that's what awe is all about. Humility is a natural derivative of that. I think humility is one of the, the things we should encourage in people so that we won't be so boastful and we're not so proud of what we've done and maybe look back and say, yes, we have done some wonderful things, but we still have a lot of work to do and there's still a lot that we don't know. And joy, well, so much of my brain science and clinical work has to do with happiness. Joy is available to everyone. And I guess my little contribution would be if I could bring some joy back into people's lives when they seem to have forgotten what it was. Now there's a multimedia component to viewing your artwork that just goes on to add further layers to the experience. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, because I was interested in working with teenagers um, in the Toronto area at the time, Woody Harrelson, the well-known actor, came to town to direct a play by Kenneth Lonergan. To make a long story short, Woody and I became friends and Woody recorded each passage. Each of the paintings is based on a passage. Woody recorded the passage, and then Bram Wenger, the musician, the composer, wrote a symphonic score for that passage and put it behind the words. So when you come to the show, which I hope you will, uh, you'll be able to use an audio guide, and the audio guide uh, sets you in front of a painting and uh, you can certainly read the passage if you like, we'll have that available, but you can also hear Woody recite the inspirational passage for, the, uh, for each painting. And uh, I think that gives it another depth. You never seen such purty country, all orchards and grapes, purtiest country you ever seen. But you can't have none of that land. You go in there and plant you a little corn, and you'll go to jail. Uh, Steinbeck won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Uh, and he, uh, over the years, has kind of been forgotten as a great writer. Uh, he not only was a great writer and a great artist in general, he was also a scientist, which a lot of people didn't know. Um, and not just a marine biologist, he was a real scientist. So I want people to know those things about them. And one aspect of this show is that uh, m most of the profits from the sale of the paintings themselves and for a special presentation that we're doing on the 14th of September, um, we'll, we'll go to the Boys and Girls Club of Niagara. And they have a very wonderful program for teens and young adults who need a little help in getting, getting going in, in the world. Awe and humility and joy will be on display until October 2nd, with a chance to meet the artist on Sunday, September 7th at 2 p.m. Reporting in Niagara-on-the-Lake for The Source, I'm Katie Jones.